these last couple of years were a little bit difficult on all of us. Some of us might have had a little bit of extra time at home, working on some projects. You know, some people decided to have a COVID baby. I decided to have a COVID coffee table and I did not regret it. This had to be, for me, a solid coffee table, solid wood, no veneers. I'm tired of the furniture falling apart. I got four boys and they are here on earth to destroy everything that I own. So this is one thing that will be left standing at the end. They might even grow to enjoy this piece of furniture that I make. So cut it all down to size, figured out the size of the coffee table that I wanted. And one mistake I did is the, the grain water falling off the sides of the coffee table. I was not able to get that done. I cut that, the side pieces off on the same side of the lumber, which was my mistake. You live and you learn. Um, as soon as I got that down, I went, it went through the planer a couple times, more than a couple times actually, just to get all that rough cutting out of the lumber until we had a smooth finish. Um, this machine here, I actually had to buy just for this project. I was not able to figure out exactly how to get that one side plumb to the top side uh, without, I had a table saw, tried using that, it was not working very well for me. So I got this piece of uh, machinery just to get this done. As soon as I got that one side nice and plumb, I was able to use a table saw to rip it down and make the other side plumb as well. And here I'm laying it out. Wanna, there's one piece specifically that I really wanted to be on top, which is that piece right there with that knot in it. I really want to keep that uh, exposed to the top. So I moved everything around to make that piece stand out and match the other pieces around it. I had to use a joiner. This is a Festool joiner. Um, this holds all the pieces together structurally and it just makes the furniture a lot stronger instead of using nails or glue alone. Uh, so this still does use glue, but it just makes it that much more stronger. On this first piece, I think I used a little too many dominoes here. Um, I was just thinking about my kids destroying everything and probably that's what happened subconsciously so I dry fitted that put it together it was quite quite a tough time for me to now pull that apart I'm not going to show you because I did struggle quite a bit um, and here I'm now gluing everything together it, it did take a few days for me to glue everything together um, I just don't have enough clamps those clamps are so expensive so I did do this in sections uh, the only pieces I was able to glue in one day were the side sides of the coffee table um, there's just a lot more less dominoes to glue together so I was able to do that all in one go and um, probably should have wiped off all that glue excess that was coming out um, not on this piece the side pieces especially the sanding part w did take a little bit longer uh, which we'll see in the next video for me to get um, remove so that, that added just extra time to the project that was unnecessary. Uh, so this here is the sides of the coffee table that will be the sides of the coffee table, but all that glue access right there, that did take quite a bit to sand down. Um, so in the future, I'm gonna wipe it off. That would probably save me a lot of time. So in the next video, I'll be sanding down and we'll be on to step two. So come back for more.